Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to add a music source to your Elgato Wave 1 microphone setup. What do I mean by that? Well, here's what I mean. So the Elgato Wave 1 mic comes with this Wavelink software that allows you to bring in audio sources from anywhere in your home studio and your setup into one digital mixer, including Spotify. I've got Spotify running right here on this computer. So here's how you do it. In order to get to this phase, you need to have the mic plugged in, update your firmware, get the software installed, do your basic Windows settings. If you haven't done all of that, don't worry, I've got tutorial videos on all of that on the channel. Just go back and watch those to catch up to where we are today, where all the basics are hooked up. Cool. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take whatever it is that we're playing in terms of music, if it's Spotify and otherwise, and we're going to open that program and we are going to find some music and hit play on that music. Why? So whenever you hit play on that music, it's going to activate that as a source that can be captured by your computer. If you're not already playing the music, then you can't capture the music uh, through the method that we're going to talk about, okay? So next step is that you are going to route your music um, within the Wavelink software by adding an input for the music here, then we are going to route it in Windows. Don't worry, it's very simple. I'll walk you step by step through it. So first things first, let's go to an empty channel on your Wavelink software and click the plus button to add a new input. I recommend selecting the music option because it makes the most sense for your brain. Got it. So once you do that, and I am going to do this just for the tutorial so we don't get feedback, I'm gonna mute there, you don't have to mute there. What I recommend is doing the drop down menu here under music and selecting whatever your music playback service is. Let's call mine is Spotify today. Yours can be whatever it is yours is. It works the same for all music playback services. Got it? So you've routed it to music, then you've named it whatever it's actually called to help your brain out. Check. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to route the audio in Windows so that it goes through that music option that we just selected there. The way that you do that is you go down to uh, in Windows, you're going to search and you're going to go to sound. You're going to type in the word sound and then you're going to see sound mixer options down there. That's the menu that you're looking to get to today. So when you click sound mixer options, click, it's going to pull up this menu right here that you see on the screen right in front of us. So when you get here, this may be confusing, but trust me, it's very simple to do the routing. What you're going to do is scroll down to your music service. Let's say it's Spotify. And under the first box, you're going to select, doesn't that look familiar? Wavelink music. There you go. So now you're routing the, mu the Spotify playback through that music channel we just opened up in your Wavelink. Then when you're selecting the next menu, I recommend for most of you guys choosing Wavelink stream. It will depend on if you're doing some special routing, but let's just do Wavelink Stream as a good default for most of you guys to select for the second option. The most important thing is that you've selected Wavelink Music as your first option. Now that you've routed it in the Wavelink software here and you've selected Music, and then in Windows, you've selected Wavelink Music as your output, then what you will be able to do next is actually play the music and have it pumping in through the Wavelink software. So I'm going to unmute the music right now. And there it is. So you notice how the music is now coming through and we now have levels coming through on the music right here for Spotify. Now, one thing that you need to note is that you can change how much of that music, whether you hear or not the music through your headphones by clicking this button, whether it goes through the stream mix or not by clicking this button, and you can choose the volume levels of how much you hear it in your headphones versus how much you hear it in the stream mix using these volume levels here. Also, if you want to monitor the stream mix, let's say you're pumping the music through the stream mix for your audience, you can click the ear button here to monitor it there, or you can click the ear button here to monitor uh, your monitor mix in your headphones separately. But I will be quiet for a moment and watch what's happening in the mixer down here. Notice how the volume levels are significantly higher under the stream mix and they're lower under the monitor mix. That's because I've muted my Spotify playback in my monitor mix by clicking the mute button down here, and it's only playing back in my playback mix. I highlight for that for you guys because you can choose whether music sources are heard just by you 
and or by your audience. So you may want to live stream, for example, and listen to music through your headphones, but not have that be a part of the broadcast. Maybe you want to listen to copyright music, right? But you can't play it back because you'll get copyright struck. This gives you the option to only listen to it and or to play it back for your audience. The Wavelink software gives you that complete control on how your music is routed within your computer. Thank you so much for watching. Pick up the Wave 1 microphone, links below, and the official accessory links are down there. Adios amigos.